Hey guys, and welcome to Let's Play The Sims 3 Island Paradise Part 23. I'm gonna go ahead and catch you guys up real fast on what went on when the camera was off. Just like, be no, this was while they're sleeping. Yeah, while they're sleeping, um, we got our re first resort up to five stars, which is really, really cool. Because, to be honest, I never thought that we were going to get to five stars, but we did. Where is it? <laughs> I'm just kind of all over the map here. Yeah, here it is. So we now officially own a five-star resort, and they earned a few lifetime happiness points for that. So yeah, Sisters Resort. It is a five-star resort. How cool is that? And on top of that, we have our little resort across the way. I did add a few things, which I'll show you in a second. But on top of getting a five-star resort, we also uncovered another uncharted island. It said, um, the little thingy disappeared, but it said that some, someone, some buyer or something was impressed that we got a five-star resort. So, um, oops, sorry about that. Uh, so, um, he gave us his private island. <laughs> I'm trying to find it. Is this it? Hold on, let me see. Yeah, this is the private island, and as you can see, it's a much bigger lot. Um, I'd actually rather build a resort here. I kind of regret that I already started at the other place, but you know what? Oh well, we already started there, except the other place is struggling. It said that the resort's going to have to close if it doesn't make the proper income. If that's the case, I'm just going to scrap that resort and start building here. If it does well, then this can be where the third resort goes, but um, yeah, so we have this huge private island. As you can see, I'm going to give you guys a look here, a looky looky. It's a really neat island. And yeah, there's definitely more room to build. Unlike the island that we are building on, which I have to cram everything into one area. And it's really, really, really horrible. Because you just kind of have to squish everything and then there's no room to like upgrade these. And ugh, the whole thing just sucks. But um, let me go ahead and show you guys what I did do. Obviously last time we started on the lobby and it wasn't decorated or anything. And we started with the bathroom and stuff. Well I did decorate the lobby and I added elevators which we can't use because there's no second floor yet. But there will be a second floor. Hence why I added the elevators. But let me give you a look around the lobby. Clearly this is much nicer than my other resort. Even though this is a very poor resort and no one likes it, but um, it's definitely nicer looking. Got kind of a modern style going over here. And it's got very colorful paintings and whatnot. And in here is the buffet deal. I placed tables last time. I added a couple more so we could have like one of everything. A couple chairs, not too much. And um, an outdoor seating area, which is, I actually like this little seating area because it's right there on the water. So our, I'm going to go ahead and place. So our Sims can go ahead and dine on the water, which is really freaking cool. So yeah, that is that. Um, another thing, today is Angela's birthday, so we're going to focus on that. I'm actually going to hold off on building on this resort. It's not doing too well. <laughs> and on top of that, I want to save money for, you know, family stuff. We'll worry about the resort later. Um, I don't think... We oh, we do have some reviews. They're not good. <laughs> I'm so glad that this resort offered vegetarian food options. Okay, some of them are good. Nice property, but where's the swimming pool? Obviously, we have no room for one. It'll have to be an indoor one. Maybe on the third or fourth floor. I don't know. I'm not sure what they put in the food, but it was delicious. <laughs> Plenty of breakfast options at the buffet. I can't complain. Great location. Do the managers right in this place expect us to swim in the ocean? There are sharks in there. <gasps> okay, so obviously everyone wants a pool. Obviously, there's no room for a pool, but I'll figure something out. I'm just not going to worry about it right now because um, I want to focus on the family a bit. They got neglected in the last part. So let us focus on them. It's Angela's birthday. He has to go to work. That's the only problem. I want them to celebrate her birthday now. No party because she's just a baby. So there doesn't really need to be a party. And on top of that, he has to work in one hour. So I'm just going to go ahead and have them 
grow her up right now. Let's just get this over with. Get her to a toddler. Um, okay, here's what we're going to do. <laughs> Gotta find a place to put the cake. I guess down here. Yeah, I, I guess I'll have to be in the kitchen. Unless we just celebrate right here. I could buy a little table. Nah, I don't want to waste too much money. So, um, come on. No, it's going to face that way. So we're going to go ahead and have Angela's birthday party right now. Blow out candles. Angelica. I called her Angela. Sorry, I meant Angelica. I don't even know the name of my own sim baby. Angelica Aqua is having a birthday party. Come one and all. It's time to celebrate. And mom here is hungry, but she's going to have to wait. Nathan has available lifeguard work to do. Um, no, you have to wait. What's going on here? Uh, she's supposed to have a birthday. Why is she not having a birthday? He can be late to work. I don't care. Let's, let's have a birthday here. Why is there no birthday? Okay, I seriously don't know what's going on. Oh, is he gonna grab her? He's gonna grab her. Okay, that's fine. Since mom is being a total loser right now. Oh, stop complaining. You can eat later. Don't you have food? Like, yeah. Eat your catfish. <laughs> that's sitting in your pocket. And then you're gonna go downstairs and you're gonna celebrate your... Your baby's birthday, damn it. Toss that. Why did that not work? Come on. There we go. Um, we should probably buy some toys since we don't have any toddler toys. I'm going to do that real fast right now. Uh, la, la, la. Let's see. What do we want to get her? Since she's a girl, we can get her a nice pretty bear. That'd be cool. I want to put some toys in the living room and then some in here, in her bedroom, because she'll spend quite a lot of time in her bedroom. Okay, we'll do this. That's that's good. Um, what else should we put in here? Maybe one of these little music thingies. I think so. There we go. They can walk around that. And then down here, we'll go ahead and put a few toys. Because she's going to need some. What's that? I don't have enough points to buy that. Okay. Um. Sorry, guys. I was just, like, checking out some store content. Very small train set. Now, what do we want to get her? I think we'll just do this. Is there anything that comes in, like, pink? Because she's a girl? No? No? Green would go with everything else, though. So let's just do green. Forget it. Let's just do green. There we go. This is gonna look like your typical household that has a kid in it. Just toys everywhere. Tons of toys all over the place. Um, I think that's good actually. So she has two toys up there. Okay, here, we'll get her this too. That's cute. Now, you know what? She needs a zebra. <laughs> Uh, where do I want to put this? I don't want to put it by the stairs. Because no, like, in real life, you would not put a rocking horse by the stairs or the baby could just, I don't know, fall down. <laughs> fall down and die. That'd be horrible. That'd be so sad. So, um, there we go. See, that's already starting to look like a household, your typical everyday household that has kids. <laughs> just throw toys all over the place. It needs to be a little more messier too. You need like just crap all over the place. Okay, there we go. And it didn't cost us that much money, so awesome. Okay, are we having a birthday? We're having a birthday. Here we go. Mom sounds excited. <laughs> she is very excited about this. She's like, yes. Less dirty diapers. I mean, there's still gonna be dirty diapers, but 
They're getting closer to an adult. Sorry if you hear a clicking sound in the background. That was me. Futzing with my iPhone. I should know better than to do that next to the mic. <laughs> okay, here we go. The days have flown by and Angelica is now a toddler. She still needs a lot of caring for, but now can also learn basic sim skills like walking and talking. What she learns at this age will set the stage for her future development. Well, isn't that awesome? Your baby's grown to a toddler. Yes, I know. Thank you for reminding me. Stating the obvious. Angelica Aqua's having a birthday party. We know that. Nathan, yeah, go to your work. Okay, you go to work now. You're done celebrating. Forget your cake slice. Go to work. You don't need it, fatty. Um, she doesn't need cake either, but she's gonna- I'll let her eat it. Nathan Aqua has received his weekly- Oh, he earned money! A thousand hundred thirty-two dollars. It's awesome. That is awesome. So there is little Angelica. Clearly, we need to change her clothes. I don't even know what she is wearing. Look at that. She's got no shirt. Like, little cardigan pant things with- knee-high socks and sandals <coughs> the, the, her parents do not know how to dress her that is horrible mm -hmm. it's absolutely horrible so um you you know what we're not even gonna have you clean that up i'm just gonna toss it for you because my sims are lazy um go ahead and pick her up and like do something about that outfit or can or maybe i'll do that off camera since it takes a while I don't know. Is there anything you can change her into that looks less stupid? <laughs> Let's try sleepwear. Maybe that'll be a little better. What in the heck? Is she wearing high heels? Oh my god, I forgot to remove those from the, from the game. I accidentally downloaded these custom content boots which I hate because I got them from something else um I keep forgetting to un uninstall them because they glitch and they go on like young children and it looks <laughs> oh my god she's wearing high heels this is why I don't download a ton of cus custom content because stuff like this happens way too often I just I do have some custom content but I've just pretty much stopped downloading it it's it's really horrible um yeah we need to fix that okay I forgot how you change your baby's clothes I think the baby can go up to the dresser right right no I don't know oh my god I don't know okay just bring her no don't put her down just go here with her oh god and, okay, good. He's doing his job like he should be. How is his job performing? He's almost there for promotion, but she will be level 8. That's pretty cool. Now, um, Elise, hurry up. Go make your baby pretty and not wear horrible clothing. Oh, man. So, wait, is she... Wait a minute, are those knee-high socks or the- <gasps> Those aren't knee-high socks, they're her legs! Oh my god, she's a mer baby. <gasps> yes! I was so scared that we we're gonna get human baby. I really didn't want a human baby. But no, she's a mer baby, guys. Those are her legs, not- I thought they were knee-high socks or something. Like pink socks. Nope. Those are her legs, so that is awesome. We have- we have a merm baby, which I was really hoping for. Awesome. Okay, she can plan her own outfit. So we're going to put Angelica down. And I guess you guys can just watch me change your outfit. Sorry if it's very uninteresting. Un just <laughs> I want to get this done because look at that. That is horrible. And as soon as I'm done playing this, I need to uninstall those custom content boots. Because I really hate this glitch. It is so irritating. Oh. <laughs> okay, so let's find her something cute to wear. I like that. You know, since she, <laughs> I love how she's a baby girl and she's got like little pink, pink legs. That is clever. Um, I think we'll just make her very pinkish. 
Why not? She's a pink mermaid, so. Um, let's see what's in outfits before I decide on this. Hmm. Well, maybe we'll give her a dress or something. I don't know. I really don't. Oh, this is from Island Paradise. That's cute. Let's do this. I think I want to change the color. I do. I want to kind of match her legs. Not too much, but... Hmm. Okay, that's... Actually, let's make it close. I don't know. That'll do. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. And now, um, let's get a formal. Get rid of those. God... Yeah, we're just going to go ahead and keep her sandals, I guess. I don't know. I don't really like those sandals, actually. Nope, we're not. We're going to give her those. Because they're cute. Or maybe we'll give her sneakers. Yeah. I like these better. White. There we go. Okay. Now for formal. <laughs> See, that is just horrible. I need to fix that. I'm sorry about that, guys. Okay, um, for formal, obviously she's gonna need something pretty. That's good. I think that that will work. Right? Okay, we'll do that, and then we'll give her just these little shoes again. She'll wear pink this time, and they'll be a little lighter. There we go. And then we're gonna go to sleepwear. Hopefully- no. <laughs> yeah. So for both formal and sleepwear, she had those horrible boots. Now we're going to do bare feet. Go to clothes. Pink diaper. There we go. Okay, um, outerwear. <laughs> she's just, she's just going pink. That's perfect. Okay, we're going to do that. That's it. She's done. I don't want to waste too much time on this. Perfect. So that is our Mer baby Angelica, guys. I am so happy that she turned out to be a mermaid. I think that's just the coolest thing. Be picked up. What are you doing? Use on one bathroom. No. Here, you know what? Why don't we just start working with Angelica? Um, teach the walk. Teach. Oh, that's right. I need to get a potty training thing too. Uh, let's teach her the walk. Well, Dad is out working, and Dad needs to spend some time with his daughter, because I don't think they have, like, the best relationship. Oh, she doesn't have a very good relationship with either of her parents. That's kind of sad. We need to fix that. So maybe if I have Mom teach her to walk and Dad teach her to talk, that will improve things, hopefully. And then I'll buy a porta potty later. Here we go. They're already starting to bond. How wonderful is that? And I'll probably buy like a stroll or something. I, I want to take Angelica out on the town. Maybe in the next part. I think in the next part. We'll take her out. So she can she can explore the land. <laughs> She's so cute. And um, oh that's right. There's an action I believe. You can, um, take your toddlers actually into the shallow end of the water. From what I believe you can. Um, I think she has to be holding her to do that. So, I think we're gonna take Angelica to the beach in the next part. Not in this one. In the next part. And we're gonna see what interactions we have with the beach. And the toddlers. So, um, that should be really interesting. And maybe the parents can build a better relationship with her. Is he working tomorrow? He is working tomorrow, but that's fine. He could be at the beach. He could bring his daughter to work. And mom will come along. And we'll work with her. So yeah. That should be good. Have a child with Nathan. You just had a child. How many children do you want, girl? Anyways, guys. I'm going to go ahead and end this part here. I'm... Is this part kind of short? I don't know. I don't think it's short. I My stopwatch isn't working for whatever reason. But anyways, guys, I'm going to end this part here. And in the next part, we're definitely going to focus on 
you know, trying to do more family stuff. We're going to take her to the beach, and we're going to see what interactions there are with toddlers and, you know, the whole Island Paradise beach stuff. So, yeah. Anyways, guys, I'm going to go ahead and end the part. Thank you for watching, and I hope you guys... I hope you guys... I hope to see you guys in 24. Part 24. Anyways, have a spectacular simming day. I'll see you all later. Bye.